Hello, I'm Dr. Olivia Thompson, and today I need to share with you a discovery that could be changing the course of your brain health at this very moment. If you're over 60 years old or know someone in this stage of life, what I'm about to reveal can make all the difference between keeping your memory sharp for decades or accelerating a silent cognitive decline. And do you know what the main character of this story is? That coffee you drink every day, maybe at this exact moment. Seems harmless, doesn't it? But the truth is that after 60 years of age, the coffee you drink could be saving your brain from dementia or, on the contrary, accelerating forgetfulness, mental fog, and the aging of your neurons. The difference isn't whether you drink coffee or not, but rather how, when, and with what you consume. That cup that's been part of your routine for so long. Have you noticed that your memory isn't what it used to be? Do you forget where you left your keys? Repeat the same story to the same person without realizing it? Or take a little longer to process information that used to be automatic? If you answered yes to any of these questions, pay very close attention to what I'm going to tell you because the way you're drinking your coffee might be sabotaging your brain health without you realizing. But the good news, and I want you to hold on to this, is that small adjustments in your coffee routine can transform it into your greatest ally against Alzheimer's and memory loss. Let me explain what happens in your brain after 60. Over time, our brain naturally reduces the production of essential neurotransmitters like dopamine and acetylcholine, substances fundamental to our ability to remember, learn, and process information. At the same time, something very dangerous increases, chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. These two processes are considered the great villains behind dementia and Alzheimer's. It's as if the brain starts to rust from the inside, accumulating toxins and losing its ability to renew itself. And this is where coffee comes in. It contains extremely powerful antioxidant compounds such as polyphenols and caffeine, which have been extensively studied by science and associated with neuron protection, memory improvement, and significant reduction in Alzheimer's risk. Studies from the renowned Johns Hopkins University show that proper coffee consumption can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's by up to 65%. Can you imagine the impact of that? But here comes the caveat, and it's a crucial one that changes everything. Coffee consumed the wrong way can generate exactly the opposite effect of what you expect. It can elevate cortisol, which is the stress hormone, increase intestinal inflammation, completely dysregulate blood sugar, and impair your deep sleep, which is precisely when the brain does that essential cleaning of toxins accumulated during the day. So, without realizing it, you could be using coffee as a slow poison for your brain, when it could be your most powerful protective shield. Let me tell you the story of Mr. Anthony, a patient who came to see me two years ago at 67 years old. He was an active man, full of life, but had been noticing increasingly frequent memory lapse. He would forget where he left his keys, repeat the same stories to his children, and what bothered him most was a constant feeling of mental fog, as if he were always trying to see through frosted glass. Anthony had always been passionate about coffee. He would have his first cup right after waking up, still on an empty stomach, to get that kickstart to his day. Then, two more throughout the afternoon, always with refined sugar and whole milk, because he liked that creamier, sweeter taste. At night, he felt anxious, agitated, slept very poorly, and woke up tired, as if he hadn't rested at all. When we analyzed his entire routine in detail, it became absolutely clear. The coffee that should have been protecting his brain was doing exactly the opposite. So let's talk about the five fatal mistakes most people make when drinking coffee after 60. The first mistake, and perhaps the most common, 
is drinking coffee on an empty stomach right after waking up. Do you do this? Many people wake up and go straight to the coffee maker, thinking it will give them energy and vitality. But what happens is that drinking coffee on a completely empty stomach triggers excess cortisol production. This excess cortisol generates inflammation throughout the entire body, severely impairs the absorption of essential nutrients for the brain, such as magnesium and iron, and can cause insulin resistance, which is a direct risk factor for developing dementia. It's like you're punching your metabolism first thing in the morning. The second mistake is adding refined sugar to coffee. When you mix sugar with caffeine, you create an explosive combination. First comes a brutal spike in blood glucose, followed by a sharp drop. This sugar roller coaster deeply stresses the brain, impairs your short-term memory, and feeds inflammatory processes that accelerate the aging of all your brain cells. Have you noticed that after drinking a very sweet coffee, you feel energized, but soon after comes that tiredness, that craving for more sugar? Well, that's your brain calling for help. The third mistake is using regular milk or cream in coffee. Many people don't know this, but after 60, the ability to digest lactose, which is the sugar in milk, decreases considerably. Cow's milk can cause significant intestinal inflammation, and when the gut is inflamed, that inflammation spreads throughout the entire body through the bloodstream. And guess who suffers the consequences? The brain. An inflamed gut generates systemic inflammation, and the brain literally pays the price for this seemingly harmless choice. The fourth mistake is drinking coffee after three in the afternoon. Caffeine has a half-life of five to six hours in the body, which means that if you drink coffee at four in the afternoon at ten at night, you still have half of that caffeine circulating in your body. This drastically compromises deep sleep, which is the essential stage for memory consolidation and for cleaning toxic proteins from the brain, such as beta amyloid, which is directly linked to the development of Alzheimer's. Without quality deep sleep, your brain cannot clean or repair itself properly. And the fifth mistake is drinking low-quality coffee or using bleached paper filters. Poor-quality coffees may contain mycotoxins, which are toxins produced by fungi that harm both the liver and the brain. Additionally, those white paper filters that look so clean release dioxins, which are highly toxic substances. It seems like a small detail, but these details accumulate and make all the difference over the years. Now, after understanding what not to do, let's get to what really works and what completely transformed Anthony's brain health and that of hundreds of other patients I treat. The first fundamental change is to wait at least 90 minutes after waking up to have your coffee. Why? Because you need to allow your body's natural cortisol which is naturally elevated in the morning, to drop before introducing caffeine. Ideally, have your coffee after a small nutritious breakfast with eggs, avocado, berries, foods that stabilize blood sugar. This prevents those glucose spikes and the inflammation I mentioned earlier. Imagine starting your day with a nourished and protected brain. The second change is to add healthy fats to your coffee instead of sugar and regular milk. Use a teaspoon of coconut oil or ghee butter, which is a clarified butter without lactose. These fats provide stable and lasting energy to the brain, and most importantly, they enhance the absorption of all those powerful antioxidants in coffee. You can blend everything in a blender for a few seconds and create a creamy, nutritious, and delicious coffee. Have you tried this? The difference is impressive. The third change is to use spices instead of sugar. Add cinnamon, which naturally regulates blood glucose or a small pinch of turmeric, which is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories that exist for the brain. If you really need to sweeten, use stevia or xylitol, which are natural sweeteners that don't cause that blood sugar spike. The fourth change is to prefer unsweetened plant-based milks. Almond milk, coconut milk, or oat milk 
are excellent choices that don't cause intestinal inflammation and still add nutrients to your coffee. Just pay attention to the labels to choose versions without added sugar. Because many industrialized plant milks are full of hidden sugar. The fifth change is to limit consumption to two cups a day and always before two in the afternoon. Two cups, which equals approximately 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine, are sufficient for you to obtain all the neuroprotective benefits without compromising your sleep at night. Never, under any circumstances, Drink coffee after 2 in the afternoon if you want to protect your memory and your brain. And the sixth and final change is to choose quality organic coffee. Prefer organic coffee from a single origin and use cloth filters or unbleached paper filters. Specialty coffees have much higher concentrations of antioxidants and virtually no harmful toxins. It's worth every penny invested because we're talking about the health of your most important organ. So what happened to Anthony after he implemented these changes? After just three months following these simple guidelines, he returned to the office and reported something that deeply moved me. The mental fog had completely disappeared. He could remember the names of people he had just met, processed information much more quickly, and, most importantly, felt mentally alert and present until the end of the day. His sleep improved dramatically, and he woke up genuinely rested, with energy to live. When we did new tests for inflammatory markers, the reduction was significant and measurable. He not only maintained the pleasure of drinking his daily coffee, he transformed coffee into a powerful and scientifically proven ally against brain aging. And this transformation has solid scientific basis. Recent studies published in the renowned Journal of Alzheimer's Disease show that moderate coffee consumption, when done correctly, is associated with a reduction of up to 65% in the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Additionally, there is proven improvement in cognitive function and working memory a significant increase in a substance called BDNF, which is the neurotrophic factor responsible for creating new neurons and powerful protection against chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. But it's essential to understand that these incredible benefits only happen when coffee is consumed the right way, at the right times, with the right ingredients and in the appropriate amount. After 60, every decision you make regarding your diet and lifestyle counts exponentially. Coffee can be your most powerful protective shield for the brain, helping you maintain your memory, your lucidity, and your independence for decades. Or it can become, without you realizing it, a silent weapon that accelerates cognitive decline and gradually steals your ability to remember to learn, and to live fully. The difference between these two scenarios is completely in the details. When you drink it, what you mix it with, how much you consume, and the quality of the coffee you choose. Based on robust scientific evidence and clinical experience of following the transformation of hundreds of patients over the years, I can say with complete conviction Changing the way you drink coffee is one of the simplest, most accessible, and most powerful decisions you can make today to protect your memory, your cognition, and your lucidity for the next 20, 30, 40 years. It's not an empty promise. It's science applied in practice, transforming real lives of real people. So I want to make an invitation to you now. Choose just one of these changes I shared and start today. It could be waiting 90 minutes to have your coffee. It could be swapping sugar for cinnamon. It could be adding a spoonful of coconut oil. Choose a simple change and observe what happens to you in the coming weeks. Write here in the comments which change you're going to start today because I want to know and I'll be here following you on this journey. And if you know someone over 60 who needs to hear this message, 
share this video with that person because you could literally be saving their memory and quality of life. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now and turn on notifications to receive more content based on science that really works in practice. With each small change you make, you're building a stronger, more resilient, more protected and more alive brain. And that, believe me, is priceless. Stay with me on this health journey because together we're going to age with sharp memory, clear mind and great quality of life. A warm hug from Dr. Olivia and see you in the next video.